Hello guys, Zephyr here. Today I'll be showing you how to customize my resource pack. Alright, so first let's make a new folder, the same name as the resource pack. Doesn't have to be, but that's optimal. Alright, now we open up this with 7-zip or another program. We extract everything into the, the uh, new folder we just created. Alright, this should have it, yep. Now we don't need that anymore, let's just put it off to the side. Next, open up Windows Explorer, type in percent app data, percent, it'll take you to your roaming folder, so go to the .minecraft folder, and then the resource packs folder. We will take our newly created folder, and we'll just dump that in. Open that up. Now from here we can um, customize it. Go to the assets, minecraft, textures. I'll go to the alternate folder. I'll show you how to get the brighter ores. We'll just copy all the ores, go back to the textures, and then to the blocks. We'll just paste them in. And then when it prompts for an overwrite, you will replace it. And now to get the new swords, you want to go to alternate again, go to the swords, and say if we want to get the the Rave Blade, which is the Rainbow Sword. We'll just copy both of those. Make sure you get the MC Meta fold, the MC Meta file and the Gold Sword. Copy. It's Control C, by the way, and then go back to Textures, Items this time, because the swords are stored in items. So let's just hit anywhere. Control V. That's for paste. Copy and replace. And now the Gold Sword should work. The uh, Rainbow Gold Sword. Now I'll just do it for the arrows as well, just to give you another example. Let's go to the alternate archery. Uh, let's get the elvish bow. Okay, let's copy over all of these, because they are in the items folder. We'll go to the items folder again and paste it in. And it'll prompt for an overwrite, or just overwrite everything. And back here, now we take the arrow model. And then we go back to the textures folder, but this time we go to the entity folder. And as you can see, error without PNG is right there, so we'll paste and it will replace it. So now you have the green feather on your arrow to match the bow. Let's see, what else could I do? Um, I'll also show you how to remove the animated buckets if that's what you want to do. You can copy over the lava bucket and water bucket if you want to unanimate both of them. Let's go back to items, paste it in, and now we have to go and delete the lava bucket MC meta and the water bucket MC meta. And there you have it. With every animation that you have accompanying a image, you also need the MC meta folder to go with it. As you can see, the clock from Minecraft also has the MC meta folder. Same with the Rainbow Rave Sword, which I already showed you. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Hope that helped, and see you next time.